Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another Minecraft mod. Today's mod will be single player commands. I really enjoy this mod as it's kind of related to servers. If you run a server, then a lot of the commands that are used in this mod are almost identical as to a server. So it's, it's good for maybe training someone or getting to know a server and maybe even starting your own server. So, uh, Let's uh, go download the mod. I'll in show you how to install it, and I'll show you some commands. Thread. So I'll put uh, the link in the description and, uh, so you can uh, join along in the install. But because there are so much commands for this mod, I can't show all of it in one video. I'm not really going to show it all either because I'm not all of it is needed. Um, you don't need to do everything, so I'll, I'm recommending you guys, if you do want to look into this mod, look at what there is available to actually use. Uh, I know things like set time, um, if you want to spawn animals, if you want to like do some crazy stuff, then this is obviously a mod you can look into. I like to use it just the fact that you can do slash time and you can also in a late like a late mod um, update he added the ability ability to use world edit so if you've ever used world edit on a minecraft server then obviously you can do this on single player also this is going back to the part where i said you can kind of train someone if you want to have them go offline and learn how to use a certain uh world edit um World Edit plugin, you can tell them to go do this and they can have fun, learn how to use the World Edit plugin. But this is the thread. It's it's full packed of info, videos. You can check it out. There's a lot of videos that just show you each individual command. It's I don't think it's update because it says I think 1.2. Um, I think one says uh, 1.3, so it's not exactly updated. You can check out the version releases for achievements. Uh, I mean, commands that are taken out. I was reading achievement. That's why I said that. Um, they show some keyboards. They show examples. So if you don't know how to use slash give, it explains that. Uh, looks like someone made this snake using single player commands. So that's pretty cool. And uh, then it has a full list of commands. Um, also in game, you can type slash help. It will show a, a full list of items you can use. So I'm going to download the mod and then, uh, then I'm gonna show you how to install it. So uh, let's go uh, to the install phase. So I wanna mention something before heading off to actually installing it. Make sure you always have the latest down, download version. I had a problem with mod loader where it wouldn't drop items. And during the time, I think when I was making the video, it was actually fine. I think when 1.7.3 came out, the uh, drop issue shown up on the, uh, the upload, the updated version. So keep in mind of the download version and always keep updated for your mods that you're using. So now that I kind of did a quick update about that, you want to open up your Minecraft folder. The easiest way is to use the Minecraft launcher because you want to close that afterwards. So now that I have this open, I'm going to go bin, Minecraft jar, open it up in WinRAR. You can use a program called 7-Zip, I think it's called. It's... I'm pretty sure it's free. It almost works the exact same way as WinRAR does. So if you're trying to look for a program, you can hit that up and use that instead of WinRAR if you don't have it. So I have single player commands downloaded right here. Now this one's a little tricky. Uh, there is a readme file and there's a world edit file. So I'm going to first show you where to put the world edit jar. This is what you do. You open up your Minecraft folder, 
Go to bin. Where the minecraft.jar file is, you want to drag the world edit file into the same folder. So you're not adding it to the jar file, you're adding it beside the jar file. So once that's done, you can lower the folder. That's why I always like to leave it open just in case something does need to be dragged over. Now I'm going to go back to the single player commands folder, zip, download, and I'm going to select the first three classes uh, because the readme file doesn't need to be taken over into the minecraft jar so i'm going to take those over drag the first three and i'm going to select the last class files and drag them over click ok now you can read the readme file it's not needed um, it just shows you version updates what's changed in each version let's see um, there are some normal commands they i i I think it's in alphabetical order. I don't know. Is the web page in alphabetical order? Yeah, so the web page is in alphabetical order. So it's both the same. So you can use the readme file or you can use the website to get commands. But in the end, you're not going to use every single command. I know for a fact I don't use everything. If I want to create a certain tutorial or show something new for example i did a video for the creepers when they get hit by lightning they turn like super saiyan blue um, i used single player commands to actually create that video so something like that is actually pretty easy but uh in the end i have it installed all the files were transferred time to test minecraft so now that i got minecraft open you can tell right away that because minecraft did load the mod was installed correctly so because single player commands has a lot of commands uh, I'm gonna just go through a couple ones that I personally like to use um, right away um, obviously the world loaded up perfectly and um, now to activate single player commands what you do is you press T and T brings like a, a chat thing chat bar basically it shows up this is where you put your commands um, I'll have the link for the mod in the description below there's also a list of commands if i haven't mentioned it already and i think i have you can go through that list and choose what you want um, because i don't choose every i don't use all the commands that is available i only use um, a couple one um, for example one if you actually don't use um, too many items so so if i didn't have too many items in, uh, installed you can actually do like slash or like give and then stone and then it would like give you stone is it giving me stone I can't tell but uh, yeah basically if you do slash give or just give um, I'm I'm used to an online server so I'm used to uh, using a slash because if you don't use a slash online servers um, you actually would type what you want so if let's, let's say you want to give yourself like um, a diamond pickaxe you do slash give diamond pick axe whoops you do diamond pickaxe and then it would give you diamond pickaxe um, in this case um, in this case you don't have you don't have to keep everything in one line um, on an online server you actually do have to keep uh, your items in one lot uh, not spaced um, and so that's basically a, a give command if you don't use too many items um, another one is time you can actually control time so if I want it to be night you do night time day so that's basically uh, one big uh, command I like to use. Um, another another mod, if you have single players installed, is the fly command. You can actually use it to fly around, look around your place, stuff like that. Whee! So that's that's uh, pretty cool. If you want to like show off like a map or you want to make a trailer for something, using the fly command is actually pretty useful. The next. The next command that I actually just 
learned recently is the no clip. It, if you ever if you know what no clip is, it's basically kind of like you're invisible or you're transparent, you can kind of go through everything. So if I was to do F3, look at my Y, I'm just holding my shift key and I'm going down. Do 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 and now I'm under bedrock. So that's pretty useful um, if you wanted to uh, if you want to just fly through a world. I guess I don't really see the need of it for like a single player single player um, use. Uh, let's turn F three off. No clip. Turn it off. Oh, you can also uh, heal yourself. Ten hearts. Um, the next one is spawning. So let's fly. Let's get a good height. Um, spawning. Basically, what this means is you can spawn animals or uh, mobs. So let's do spawn uh, pig. Oh, see? Spawn the pig. Spawn pig 10. It'll spawn 10 pigs. Ta da! A magic. It's magic. Um, yeah, so you can, you can spawn almost anything in the game. Uh, I'll do, I'll get the spawn list. Uh, right here you have a skeleton, creeper, monster. Don't know what that is. You have a slime, zombie, giant, spider, chicken, cow, wolf, pig, zombie, squid, gas, sheep, and pig. So, what's, so some of the, and I'm pretty sure you can create, um, spawn monster. So... I have no idea what that is, except that it's a person. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what that, like I know it's a like a NPC, but it looks like a normal human. Um let's do spawn giant. Oh look at that. Giant zombie. Giant zombie. Let's hit him. Um, so yeah, that's uh, basically the whole spawn thing. You can base, you could spawn almost anything. Let's do spawn creeper. Let's do twenty. It's a bunch of creepers. Spawn wolf. Ten. There's some wolves. Oops, I killed them. Um, spawn pig. Twenty. Oh, I keep killing them. Spawn pig 20. There we go. Now, another thing you can do is you can actually control the weather. You do weather and then you do what you want. If you want rain, you got some rain. If you want some lightning, you can do weather, lightning. Oops. Also, another thing I do like about this is when you do. When you want to do a command, for example, the T, when you type press T, um, it freezes the game. So if you want to do lightning, whether wherever you're pointing, that's where the lightning will go. So there, kind of did that. So it's very useful because um, you can kind of T, weather, sun, make it sunny again. So if you uh, see my videos about the like, I think it was the 1.6 with the snow and rain. Um, it basically that's what I used. I used single player commands. Uh, it was very. I basically it took me almost the whole day to find actually find biomes that were raining and stuff. But once I had single player commands, it took me like five minutes to actually record. So if I could see single players. Single player commands used for tutorial purposes very easily. Um, also, because it has uh, world edit integrations, it, you can do basically whatever you want with that. So, if I wanted to do expand, oh no, I want. If I want to create something like this, I can because 
because single player commands integrates world edit um, it's it's practically anything is possible it's really easy um, but yeah those are just some of the basic commands I like to use like I said earlier there's a full list of commands on the thread so if you want to go check those out you can I'll post the uh, link in the des description below but uh, this is the end of uh, the Minecraft test. I'm showing you commands that I like to use that I regularly use on uh, this mod. But uh, you can go, you can do whatever you want with it. There's a bunch more commands you can do. I think you can actually generate different worlds. So doing even like a let, like if you could set up multiple worlds and you can use like some kind of warp to, to change that world, then you know what? You could probably do like a let's play. That'd be, I don't know, I think that'd be kind of cool. But uh, yeah, this is it for uh, the Minecraft test and kind of a little short example of uh, what you can do. Let's, uh, let's uh, get out of Minecraft now. So now that we have tested single player commands for Minecraft and we know it fully works, you can now go off and have some fun in Minecraft. Uh, with the expansion of too many items, you can do whatever you want now, like practically anything you want. You can spawn things, you can build things, you can cheat. You know, you can't really die with these mods. So you can you can do whatever you want. You wanted to build a castle, go build it. Like the uh, example right here, this person built a snake. Like, come on, that is epic. So you can go do that if you want. You can go build some epic, epic monuments and stuff like that. A cool mod I would suggest it like I said there's a bunch more commands I only like I didn't even touch the commands I use the ones that I normally use there's messaging music move player mob damage max stat like there's a bunch of commands that there that this mod has to offer I would suggest looking into it it's a lot of fun but I don't recommend it because if you do let's plays that that that's the only reason why I would not recommend it. Um, also, the world edit collaboration. Here is the uh, command list. I will be putting that in the uh, description below so you can view that. And uh, I'll put uh, the single player commands also in the description below. But uh, yeah, this is the end of another Minecraft mod. Uh, this is probably one of the longest ones so far. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe. I will be uploading more Minecraft mods in the future. Um, I also got some other. I also play 360. Might up some upload some uh, games from that. And uh, please like the video if you did like it. Also, if you have any questions um, or you want to suggest a mod, please post in the comments below. Uh, I can basically answer any questions, or I'll make a video for a future mod if you if you suggest it and it's updated um, then I'll look into it um, also if you want to uh, follow me on Twitter my Twitter is at DJ Parsane DJ Parsane 9 uh, same thing as my YouTube it's not hard uh, to figure that out but uh, yeah that's that's my Twitter you can at reply me with any questions uh, you want to suggest a mod then uh, you can talk over there on Twitter if you don't really if you're not really into the YouTube thing but yeah, this is the end. I'm DJ Parson 9, and I'm out. Peace.